I know that this has always been evident. You know, um, there, uh, you know, you get on your cell phone and you always witness things. And I'm not 100% sure that this thing even happened in the first place. There's so much fake news out here. I'm not even so sure it ever, it's true anyway. You know, casting the first stone. I know what Jesus meant by that. I, I know exactly what Jesus meant by that. That's no different than uh, uh, the reason why God doesn't want people to judge someone else because if they're not willing to take the log out of their eye, then there's no use in them talking about someone else. So there's a woman that supposedly killed her three children in Arizona that lived in Oklahoma at once. And it could be true. And that's... But it was it was in Oklahoma that it was posted. Uh, I saw all the hateful comments. I mean, there's no doubt by law that she probably deserves death. You know, some people will justify it and say, well, she could have called out for help. She could have done this and she could have done that. Believe me. Ain't nobody twisting nobody's arm out here to kill someone. That's where Satan is. That's where Satan's got so many people out here. Satan isn't twisting your arm to sin every day. But I witnessed, there's no doubt in my mind that she probably deserves death. But she also deserves the opportunity to change too. I'm not saying on the streets. I'm not saying it that she deserves to be on the streets. You know, I could just imagine if we were in the same position, if somebody was out here in the same position and we did something bad enough that we deserved to be executed and they didn't even wait. The execution was tomorrow. How? Look how many people have come to God being in prison. I don't want overcrowding, and I definitely don't think we should be paying for people that are in prison. But, on the other hand, if God forgives people, and He does, then a lot of people would be going to hell that never found Christ before being executed. I don't think we should hold out. I don't know how God's thoughts are about this. I know one thing. How God thought about it back in biblical days before Christ coming here is that uh, you did something and something happened to you. And that probably meant that God didn't care about your forgiveness. Because you should have never done it in the first place. That's where people's consciences are today. Uh, gone. Gone. That's where people's consciences are today. Gone. Out the window. Finished. So, uh, I like some people's comments in this article, and I like some other people, I mean, I don't like other people's comments. Does she deserve to be forgiven? Yes. Does she deserve to be on the streets again? No. If God will forgive a murderer, family members should forgive a murderer. It's sad that some people won't. Um, I don't. I, I just don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Uh, other than it's pretty sad to witness a whole bunch of comments with so much hate. Sound like they're people of God, and yet they're casting the first stone. I know what Jesus meant. When when they were when they were talking about stoning that girl that day, he was saying, "If you're not even going to look at what you're doing, there's no use in looking at what she's done. If you're thinking that what she's done is worse than what you've done, you're wrong." I 
I guarantee you, there are so the majority of Christians do not inherit the kingdom because they're not following God's word. They choose to follow man's word. If if God says He never forgave a murderer, if I if God says He never forgives a murderer, and I went around telling everybody, God forgives everyone. What would I be? A liar. If God's word says you can lose salvation, and people say you can't lose salvation, then there's plenty of liars out here. And God is not the one. So, the Bible says murderers end up in the lake of fire. The Bible says liars end up in the lake of fire. Will God forgive these people? Yes, they will. Yes, He will, excuse me. Yes, He will. He can forgive them. As long as you come to Him. If you never come to Him, He's never going to forgive you. No matter how much you believe. Because if you're not living for Him, you can believe all day and you're not of Him. I think I said all that right. So, even before Jesus died on the cross, he was trying to prove a point. No one out here can say that I'm judging any individual. I may have said things from time to time that I shouldn't have said. There's no doubt. But with God making me a watchman which does not okay anything no different than you or anyone else I'm smart enough to realize that it's me that sends myself to hell it's not God it's not God that sends me to hell it's me that sends myself to hell you may think I'm wrong but how could I be wrong? I thought Jesus said he didn't come here to uh, what's the word? Jesus did not come here to uh, Condemn. I'm telling you this right now. If you go to hell, you condemned yourself to hell. I'm telling you. Even though Jesus at judgment will ca have people cast into the lake of fire, he still did not come here to condemn. We are condemning ourselves in our ways every day. And... A person can go, well, Jeff, you're judging. Well, look how many times I put myself down. End of story. Good day.